Hey, what's up YouTube? UA Reviews here, and today I've got a review video on the Under Armour Spine Venom running shoes. Okay, so if you've seen the unboxing and you've seen my entry video for the Under Armour Spine Venom Challenge, uh, these are the shoes I use. Uh, these are also the shoes that Under Armour sent to me uh, for free to use in the Spine Venom Challenge. Um, I have that video. I'll leave a link, uh, and you guys can check that out if you haven't seen it already. Uh, make sure to just like it and just tell me what you think about it. Uh, hopefully I'll hear back soon if I win anything, but uh, we'll just see. So getting on to the shoes here, um, these shoes retail for $89. Uh, like I said, Under Armour, Under Armour sent them to me for free, so I figured it was a great chance to just do this review on these uh, updated Spine uh, running shoes. So the original Spines came out around uh, end of summer of last year. I got those, reviewed them. Uh, didn't really think much of them after I'd used them for about six months. They had almost just torn to pieces, and they're almost, I've not worn them since I did that video. But uh, I was just curious to see what the new spines, uh, and you know they named them the Spine Venoms now. I was just curious, you know, what's different about them. Um, a few things just um, cosmetically on the outside, just how they look, uh, the outer side of the shoe. It's made of a mesh material. It's a lot different than uh, the original spines. Um, I feel like the original ones didn't really do a good job. They just kind of felt weird. But, I mean, these have a little nicer of a feel to them. Um, as far as, like, the spine pattern on the bottom of the shoe, it's still the same. Um, you know, all these really are is just an updated version. Uh, one thing I really do like about these shoes is they added a little more padding. You can see it says MPZ padding. Um, around the outside part of the ankle of the shoe so I really like that that kind of uh, it definitely has a lot more than the original spines um, and even the tongue here at the top part of the tongue it's uh, it has a little nice pad around it um, now I really just haven't seen anything that just you know stands out about these shoes as far as like an upgrade from the old spines um, like I had a problem if you've seen the, the if you said the, if you've seen the second review that I did after I had uh, you know used my original spines for a long time you could I, I mainly talked about you know how the uh, grip on the bottom of the shoe just wore out so bad these are starting to wear if you can kind of see that right there that's already starting to wear um, and I mean they really didn't change you know the style of how you know it is it's just I just don't know why, you know, I, I don't really use these shoes a whole lot, like for actual training and running. I have a different set of shoes for that, but like, I just don't get, you know, I use them, you know, I'm on my feet almost all, all the time. So I just don't know how they're just starting to wear out like that. Um, hopefully Under Armour will change that and if they do another um, update of the shoe. Uh, one thing that I haven't really had much praise about either are the insoles now 40 foam insoles have been out and they're what comes standard in the shoes but like for some reason on this left side of the shoe with this insole it was just very uncomfortable like I just I couldn't even I hardly I've never even used this insole I had to get another one for from another shoe because this was so uncomfortable it was like rubbing on my foot like right here it was like annoying to walk in and like I keep had doing I had to adjust the insole throughout the day and it was just very annoying so I'm not sure why I just really I probably didn't really break these in very much this insole but I still just didn't like the feel of it and I don't like these insoles if you guys do you know if you like these shoes I definitely but I would recommend getting a different insole for these for some reason on the right side you know you can definitely tell which one I've been using more and you can see the outline of my feet which is kind of gross um, but like that one, that one's fine, but you know, these insoles really don't give you a lot of padding or any return, like when you're running or like they just like the shoes itself, like, you know, there's a pretty thick, um, you know, the, like it's, I guess they still call it the micro G, you know, it's the spine, uh, sole on the bottom. It gives you, it gives you a nice amount of return on your heel when you run, but the insoles just, they don't, they don't help at all and they eventually just wear out. So, I know I have a lot of, you know, things I don't really like about them, but I'll show you uh, what they look like on my feet, 
and just kind of give you an overall opinion on what I think about them. Okay, so here are the Under Armour Spine Venom shoes uh, on me, and I'll just give you guys a 360 look of how they look on me. Alright, so one thing I want to also point out, which I, I really couldn't show you or tell you about until I actually had them on, was uh, on here, on both shoes, if you kind of look right here on the uh, medial side of my ankle, um, the part of the shoe, it like, I really feel like there needs to be another lace loop that just goes a little more farther up here because like this part of, uh, it's really hard to see because the shoe's black, but it's... Um, like this part of the shoe is just loose and it, it's not like held together by any shoe strings or anything it's just like hanging there and that's on both shoes too so it doesn't really support my ankles very well and if I've told you guys you've seen a lot of my reviews on running shoes I've got to have support for my feet otherwise I could you know be in trouble for an injury or something so I have to have support these just are not um, just they're not a very supportive shoe in my opinion um, now you might ask, what would these shoes be good for? Uh, I don't really, I don't like to use these for long distance running. Uh, I use another pair of shoes for that. Um, I, I more, I more or less consider these a training shoe. Like when I hit the gym here this summer, I'm going to be wearing my Spine Venoms. Uh, but really, I mean, just for like short training periods, you know, not running very far. You know, these shoes are fine. Um, I just really wouldn't recommend them for, you know, the long distance runs, like, you know, maybe two miles plus, because I just don't feel like they give you a lot of return. Uh, I think the shoes look good, you know, I think Under Armour does a good job of, you know, making sure the shoes look good. I just think there's just some subtle improvements that need to be made before, you know, Under Armour can successfully make a good, you know, top of the line running shoe that, you know, suits everybody, because everybody's feet are different. You know, everybody has their different preferences of how they work out and the intensity. But, you know, this this shoe, you know, it's it's good for just the subtle things like just training and short distance running and just, you know, speed work. And just, you know, if you're in the gym doing stuff like that, that's great. But, you know, if you're out hitting the pavement like I am this summer, these, these shoes just aren't going to work for you know me but you know everybody's different so if you guys have an opinion on them or if um, you have any more questions definitely leave a comment down below uh, check out some of my other videos uh, make sure to check out the my entry video on the spine venom challenge and uh, guess we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching